Hello, Mary. Lovely evening we're having. Uh, lots of fireworks in the background. Yeah. I found mm -hmm. a very nice Halloween place to take you. Do you like it? I like it! You even, you even got me a, a pumpkin. Is this pumpkin spice latte? I think it is, yes. <sighs> Ooh, I feel... I'm using my telekinetic powers to move it closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious! Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. I'm so happy you could make it on today. And I'm so happy to be here! Thank you for inviting me, Mary! <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to all the Zomali and Dark Army in chat. Welcome. And happy Halloween! Welcome. Happy Halloween! It's been a long time since we last collabed, hasn't it? Yeah, when was the last time? Was it the, uh, the talk show with Uni? The talking dog show? Yeah! The one and only episode of the talking dog show that we ever did? <laughs> wait, it was the only thing? Wait, did, did you guys not have, like, any other guests? No, you were the only episode of the talking dog show. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> it was very what? fun, though. It was very fun. Would love to do it. You guys should do it. it. It was a fun show. Yeah, I think we should do it again. Yes. Yes. So, Ali, you're from mm. in 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 I, I, Indonesia. 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 That's how we say it locally. <laughs> what kind of what kind of style do you celebrate Halloween in? In Indonesia. Oh, you're going to love this mary because in indonesia we don't celebrate halloween what we, no 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 one no one celebrates halloween why <laughs> uh because apparently um uh indonesia we have lots of diverse religions right and uh in one of our ide ideologies it, it's very uh, important for us to remember God 
And so a lot of people would think that uh, celebrating Halloween is kind of like celebrating demons in a way. Mm. But Indonesia is so spooky. It is spooky. We do have our stories, but the only celebration that we do is that people make parties, like Halloween parties, and just come. Like, like you know, the usual um, westernized Halloween parties, you just come with a sexy costume and get drunk in a club. I, yes. I think that's the only celebration we do. Not everyone does it. That's such a wasted opportunity. Indonesia is the land of scary Facebook videos. Yeah, we're like third after Thailand and Philippines, have, I think. Have oh, you wait, seen Malaysia. those scary mm. videos? Which ones? <laughs> so Mayui, one of the uh, Indonesian artists in our studio, she always mm. tells me about these scary Indonesian spooky creatures. Ah! And then she show as proof. She shows me these Facebook videos that are super grainy and like. <laughs> this is bad. Are we going to talk? I, I forgot we were going to talk about spooky. I should have. Uh, I'm home alone right now. Oh no! You didn't forget. I just didn't tell you. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I mean, it is spooky month. It is spooky month. Yeah. Yes. Woof. Yeah, and you know, it, it's good that we're actually talking about it on a Friday night Because mm -hmm. if we talk about it on a Thursday night, that's where everything gets super spooky mm. Why? Because uh, we Indonesians, at least the Javanese We have a belief that all of the spooky stuff comes out every single uh, Thursday <laughs> <First> night <laughs> Yeah yeah, because it's the night before Friday, you know? I, I, I still don't get the logic, but basically that's it. So if you're talking about Why is spooky Friday stuff, it's spooky? Not, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because um, Friday is seen as like a holy day. Like it's that day of the week where it's very, very holy. So before the holy comes, like every spooky stuff comes out that Thursday night. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea that Friday is the spookiest day, and that by extension, that means first day night is the spooky night. No, th uh, Friday is the holy day. Like, uh, everybody oh. prays. Oh. Well, so not it's everybody. Hmm. It's first day that is the spooky night. Yes. Because it's right before it's the holy day. I'm not even joking with you. Uh, that's why we call, like in English, we say Thursday night, right? But in Indonesia, we say malam Jumat. Malam meaning night and Jumat meaning Friday. Malam so Jumat. it's like literally the night before Friday. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. I, I wish it. I was making this up. This is real. No, this is awesome. I like it. I, I, I like when an arbitrary day is decided to just be the spooky day. That's just <laughs> the day when it's spooky. It doesn't need to make sense. That's just spooky day now. Yeah. Like, you know, you guys have Halloween. It's like once a year. It's be It becomes like super spooky. We have it every single week. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, no, we don't have Halloween in Denmark. You don't? Allow me to explain to you the Danish Halloween. Hold on, give me a moment. Danish Halloween. I've got to charge my headset. <laughs> now that's spooky. That when is very spooky. When your headset doesn't have battery. The viewers will have heard like a doot doot in, in, in their ears. And that was my headset showing that it's running out of power. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Now allow me to tell you about Danish Halloween. So, Danish Halloween isn't actually just spooky. It's mm -hmm. called... It's it's more like a day of beating spooky stuff. Beating the spooky? With a bat. With a bat! <laughs> yes. So, it's called Faster Laun. I'll put it in chat for anyone who's curious. It's called Faster Laun. So, here's how you celebrate Faster Laun. First of all, you make baked baked pastries because we're danish and everything has to involve baked pastries for some odd mm. reason 
and the children will dress up in all sorts of colorful outfits from TV series or just funny random stuff. It doesn't have to be spooky stuff like Halloween. It can just be anything. You can dress up like Superman. I mean, Halloween is kind of like that too, but it's like part of the actual spirit of Fast Alone that it's like just random. It's completely mm -hmm. random what your outfit is. It doesn't even have to be Halloween themed. And then all the kids line up in front of a barrel. Uh huh. And they, they get up, so they line up, and then the person first in the queue. They swing at the barrel with a bat as hard as they can. Uh -huh. And then the next person's turn, they swing at the, ba the, at the barrel with the bat as hard as they can. <laughs> the kids go back into the back of the line once they've swung. The person and who breaks the barrel, yes, they continue uh -huh. until the barrel complete. And this is like, this is a hardcore barrel, Ollie. This is like a, a wood barrel, right? This isn't like a piñata thing. It's like a uh. wooden hard barrel that you'll have you'll it'll take many times before the kids finally break the barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, the yeah. barrel breaks, whoever broke it and all the candy flows out. Back in the old days it was black cats who were in the barrels because black cats symbolized evil and you had uh. to beat the shit out of evil. Yo, uh -huh. to protect the village. But anyway, now it's candy because you're not allowed to do that to cats anymore. Because this generation is a bunch of weak, weak little people. You're not allowed to. No, I'm you can't say that, Mary. Mary, we're alive. We, you can't say that. It's like you're advocating for animal abuse. Stop. No, 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 no. It's good that there's no cat in the barrel. Let me, let me be very clear. It's very good there's no cat. I prefer candy. I like candy. I also like cats. So this is a win-win on both sides. Anyway, mm -hmm. the person who breaks it and all the candy spills out, they are now referred to as the Cat King. Ooh. But there's also a line for girls. And the person who wins the girl barrel, they're known as the Cat Queen. They each get, cr they each get a crown. Uh -huh. A paper crown. The cat king and the cat queen get first pick of the candy. Oh, I see. That's Danish Halloween. That is something. You guys it's... advocate for violence for the kids. Yes, violence. And then whoever was the most violent at the end becomes the king. It's like, it's history. It's Danish history, Olu. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine crowning the kid who... Literally just beat the crab out of the bear like, Congratulations, you're the cat king. <laughs> and he's yeah. just fuming with foam out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kaz, my manager Kaz says, Non-binaries hit both barrels. Yeah, they actually, they get, <laughs> they have an opportunity what? to be both. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't know. If, I don't know what they do with non-binary kids. Maybe they hit both <laughs> barrels. Maybe they get that pick of barrel. Maybe it's a third barrel. Who knows? Whatever they like. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that is something. Mm -hmm. What do you that like is... to do for Halloween? What I like to do, I wanna dress up in a in a suit that's three times tinier than me and become sexy. <laughs> Party. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm metal. I wanna. Arr. I wanna dress up again. It's been so many years since I last dressed up. I mean, you're pretty dressed up now. You're you're wearing a ghost cloak. I asked Dracon from our studio to make me a cloak. <sighs> and we match in color, so that's good. Yeah, we actually do. Was not expecting this, Mary. <laughs> you glad. didn't even ask me to come with this outfit. I just I just came and you were like dressed up and we somehow match. It's very nice. I like it a lot. I have a surprise for you later. <gasps> Ooh, surprises. I like surprises. Yes. But mm. first, I would like to ask, have you ever had any real paranormal experiences, Ollie? Oh, plenty. You see, um, every day is a spooky day here. I told you, Indonesia, Indonesia is spooky, guys. <laughs> There's all sorts of monsters crawling around the place. I mean, look at Mika. <laughs> that is true. Look at Mika. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Yes. We love Mika. Yeah. 
Rawr. I love Mika a lot. Yeah. She yeah. just announced her graduation. Best of wishes to Mika Melatica. Best of wishes to Mika Melatica. I love her. Yes. I would make out with her any day. You would what? What? Make up or make <laughs> what? So anyways, about the paranormal activities yes. that I've encountered. Yes. Um, there is quite a lot of stories regarding them, but mostly they're very, very nice. You see, uh, here in Indonesia, there's pranksters, ghosties. Who just like to mess around and scare people like boo haha -ha, you guys got scared mm -hmm. there's the angie ghosties they do not want to be bothered and we should not ever come across them mm -hmm. and then there's the nice ghosties they just vibe and chill and we really really like them yes and so very often that me and my family were constantly helped uh by these ghosties there's this one time this isn't really my paranormal story my mom's mm -hmm. Uh, we were kind of like sleeping. We were sleeping. It was dead in the middle of the night. Uh, we have work tomorrow and school and no one was up so late. So we were all asleep in the house and suddenly my mom, uh, she met up with uh, a lovely lady. She pops up in my mom's dream and she was like, yo, wake up, <laughs> wake up. S someone's stealing your mangoes. No. And then my mom was like, what? Someone's stealing then... her mangoes? Yeah. Oh, then... no. My, my mom was like, what? And then she was like, you know what? Never mind. You're too slow. You're not waking up. So I'll just scare him myself. And mm -hmm. the ghosty kind of scared away the... The person. The mango thief? The, the mango thief. So the mango then, wasn't stolen. The mango was not stolen. And we actually saw evidence. Uh, there was some mangoes on the ground that, that weren't ripe enough. There were some uh, footprints and whatnot. So we were like, oh. So there really was a thief. <laughs> But none of mango our mangoes thief. got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? <laughs> mango thief. <laughs> the ghost the, the ghost scared away the mango thief. That's epic. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. They're really, really nice. And um lately there's been like stories very similar to this. This is very recent, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, these are stories that you'd usually see on Twitter or Facebook, and apparently a lot of girls experience this. There's this oh. one time where there's this one girl, she was crying in her room. She's stressed out, she doesn't know, she, she just likes to let it out, you know, because crying feels good, right? Yeah. So she likes crying at night, and then there's this one time where her sister uh, came to her room and she was like, Hey, I heard you've been crying. And the little sister was shocked. She was like, how did you know? I sobbed as quiet as possible. And she was like, yeah, the nice lady told me that you've been crying by yourself. She thinks it's super sad. She wants to comfort you, but doesn't want to scare you. So she told me to tell you that I we're here for you. And yeah, a lot of them are pretty chill and cool. That's spooky. Spooky, but so nice. The, the, the lady was like looking out, you know. I, I, you know what, Oli? I like Indonesia just because of how spooky it is. <laughs> it's such a mystical land. I like to imagine the oh. old magic still runs in that land. Oh, it still runs. And mind you, a lot of people still believe in black magic. And oh, still... I know. I know about the black magic. You've heard of the black I've magic? I've heard everything about the... Yeah, oh. Risu told me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black magic here is quite something. And mm. I know what story she told you because she also told me. Oh, she told me about the different kinds of black magic on our collab as well. Ooh, like, for example? Hmm. I, I was like, what can you do if you want power and riches and then she ah. she's, she went through the steps of how to do it and i was like that sounds awesome well what is the price oh i go to hell okay never mind <laughs> <laughs> never mind <laughs> that's yeah. not a good trade <laughs> you can do a lot of stuff with black magic so you can make someone fall in love with you that's called palette okay yeah so basically uh, it kind of depends. There's like lots of ways. You can either 
cast a hex on someone and they would fall in love with you and be so madly in love that they'd say yes to anything. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Or two, you could like... I don't know how they do it, but apparently the shamans, they would like stick needles onto your forehead or your chin. And that would make you so attractive that people would just fawn over you. That's crazy. Yeah. But you go to hell. You go to hell. That's not a good trade. Well, I oh, mean... You get to be attractive while you're alive and then eternal suffering. Yes. That's not a good trade, Ollie. Yeah, or, you know, uh, you can you can get rich. Like what Risa Senpai said, there's like two types of ways to get rich. Mm -hmm. There's the sacrificial... I mean, both of them require sacrifice. That's scary. But the process is a lot more weirder. So there's this thing called Pasugihan. Where if you want to go to Pusugihan, you just gotta sacrifice all of your beloved ones and you get lots of money and go to hell. And then there's also this other one called Babi Ngepet. Ba ba yeah. Babing. Babi. Babi. Yeah, Babi means pig. <laughs> so, 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 so this is going to be very interesting. This is uh, one of the most unique ways of getting fast money through like black magic. Oh. So basically this requires a couple, a married couple. And of course you need to have a sacrifice, okay? You need to have a sacrifice. So usually anyone who wants to babi ngepet, they, have, uh, they need to have a child and then sacrifice that child. No. That's, That's not For nice. It's not nice at all. And then that's the first step. The second step is that they would have to light up a candle. And then one of the uh, one of the per uh, people from the couple, like it's either the husband or the wife, mm -hmm. they will turn into a pig. Why? Because when they turn into a pig, they turn into a mystical pig that goes through space. <laughs> and like, they go... They go no, I'm serious! They, go, they become a mythical pig, they get to like teleport to places, and they steal people's money! It's a mystical pig stealing money, it's a mystical pig! <laughs> I'm not kidding! And, and, you know, you know how I said that it needs to be a couple? Because the other person, they need to like look after the candle so that it doesn't go out. If it goes out, then the pig dies and, no. um, you know, the plan, you also go to hell, so. If it succeeds, do you not go to hell? I mean, you still go to hell, but you have money, you know. That's so, that's so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> Why is every black magic's punishment just go to hell? Isn't it like, couldn't there be one of them that's just like, okay, you shave 10 years off your lifespan and then you use it. But no, you also go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the ultimate doing deterrent black for magic even the is already sinful. Bit, <laughs> tiniest bit of black magic and all of them are just, you go to hell. Can there be another punishment like I go blind in one eye or I remember? No, we're not so forgiving of black magic. Whoa, no, you're really not. It's an eternity. Yeah, it's... An eternity of punishment. <laughs> For it's even like the high risk, high take, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's kinda of the point. That's amazing. Oh, we have a we have a magical pig in our mythology too. You wanna <gasps> hear about our magical pig? I want to hear about your magical pig. His name is Serimnia. Serimnia. And you can kill him as many times as you want. <gasps> he okay. Oh. So, so basically, he's in Valhalla, and mm -hmm. you can you can slice off bacon from him, and it just grows back. <laughs> you slice bacon from a magical pig? Yes, and it just grows back. <laughs> that is kind of gross, not gonna lie. It's nice bacon off the pig and then it goes back. Oh, it's an unlimited that? pig. Unlimited bacon. <laughs> Wait, but what does the magical pig do? He, he, it grows back. That's it? <laughs> yes. Poor pig. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. He doesn't mind. I Actually. He I, doesn't mind? Actually, How do you know? Actually, I don't know. You can't just say that. We must be used to it. 
he must be used to it. Like, in the old comics and stuff, in the old stories, he doesn't mind. But I don't... I mean, it's never stated explicitly that he's fine with it, though. You know, just because he's used to it doesn't mean that he gives consent, you know? Yeah, but he's a pig. He can't be a poor piggy! It's okay, he gets to live in Valhalla with the gods. Oh my god, haram haram kasian, Jay. <laughs> and they eat him forever. Oh, that's... that's so fucked up. <laughs> I feel so sorry for the pig. No one's ever told me that before. I mean... The pig has to has to feed the goddamn gods by regenerating its own meat. It has to go through pain multiple times, thousands I, of times. I don't know why Ollie is the first person to actually realize this or make me realize this. <laughs> I, I've never heard anyone have that take on it. Never. Oh, maybe the pig is an Indonesian who did black magic. That is hell for that pig, but like it. Be a pig in Valhalla is the new go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for the pig. I don't. I like bacon. Oh my. <laughs> my guy! <laughs> my guy! Woof! Hmm. So, so that. So, your, your spooky stories, they're all like comfy. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Uh, at least Stopping the, the mango thief. Mm. Old lady, like, tell him that your child is crying. Go, say, go help the child. Go help the child. The child is sad. Yeah. Those are, those are comfy spooky stories. You want to hear my spooky story? Oh, no. Here we go. Tell Have me you ever all heard about of it. Phantom Clown Syndrome? What is a Phantom Clown Syndrome? A Phantom Clown. Well, do you remember in 2016 when everyone was getting scared of phantom clowns? Like, Pennywise? Kind of, but it's like... Some people in chat must remember. Like, it was like clowns coming out. There was a big scare, a big, like, worldwide hysteria over these clowns that would appear, like murder clowns appearing in forests and chasing ah. children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? I do remember. Yes. So, what happened back then, it's happened before. What do you mean? Well, when I was a kid, and this is the interesting part. When I was a kid, the exact same thing happened just in my local community. Mm -hmm. It even aired on local television because of how scared the children in my area were. The story mm -hmm. went that children out alone mm -hmm. at night, they would suddenly be chased and attacked by these clowns. The clowns would terrify the children and push them around and do different things and then run away. It was very terrifying. A lot of children were like incredibly scared of it and wouldn't go out during the evening because of it and wouldn't go around alone because of it. It was a very wooden, uh, wood, wood, uh, wood filled area, the place I lived in as a child. And sometimes <laughs> parties of Older kids would go out and try to try to see if they could find the clowns, but people would never find them. But more and more children would come out with stories. It was really very scary. And I remember, I remember being scared. But see, this is a long time ago. This is way before 2016. This is like 2007-ish. And oh gosh. I remember that. And the funny thing is, I was talking to some of my friends, and they mm. also remember, but I can't find anything about it online. That's so weird. And then it happened again in 2016, but everyone acted like it was the first time it happened, but, but I remember it. It wasn't the first time it happened, and that made the whole 2016 thing way scarier for me. Ah. Uh. Mm. There's this abandoned car with a lot of graffiti all over it, it was rumored that that had something to do with it, but one day that car disappeared and we never heard from the clowns again. There's never been any clown sightings in my area. That's so spooky. Yeah. You ever seen a clown? You know, funny you say that, because in Indonesia we call clown badut. Badut? Badut, yeah. And <clears throat> the definition of badut isn't like 
um, isn't exclusively to like the clowns that we would imagine if we hear the word clown. Mm -hmm. Because Badwit means that someone's in costume. Mm -hmm. So the only Badwit that I've seen is Captain America dancing in the middle of the street asking <laughs> for money. <laughs> oh, I see. I, yeah, those kind. Yeah, those kinds of clowns. <laughs> mm. yeah. I, um... Mm. You know... You know why clowns are so scary? Because they're supposed to make people happy. Right? Kind of. It's the makeup. It's the fake big smile. It's the pale skin. What? But see, the thing is, why is it that we as humans, me as a dog and you as a zombie, why, mm. why is it that we are scared of things inherently that pretend to be human? Pretending to be human, but looking kind of uncanny, a little bit off, kind of fake. Why is it that we are deathly afraid of things that pretend to be human? Isn't it because we don't really know what'll happen to us if we're actually in one room with it? Indeed. Yeah. But see, it's a primal fear. A fear that goes way back. So, my question to you, Ollie, is... Mm. What is it with pale skin and big, uncanny, forced smiles and fakeness? What caused that primal fear in all humans? Why do children all cry at clowns before ever even having a chance to learn about why clowns are scary? Why is that? Children who have never seen the movie It, they have a mm. primal fear of clowns. This kind of... This kind of taut fear is like... It takes thousands of years to build in animals. So what from our past caused that fear to grow in our children generations after? You know, that's actually a really good question. Do you know the answer? No. <laughs> no, no? I, no? I thought you were like, well, I have a hypothesis that, like, I thought you were going to continue. Maybe, maybe skinwalkers. What are skinwalkers? You never heard of skinwalkers? I've heard the term, but I don't really know what they are. So, a couple of years ago, a lot of videos out of America, they featured these animals that started acting weird in the forest, or people going out into the forest or camping and then filming, and they hear some weird sounds that can neither be described as human nor animal mm. people strange people acting weird in the far distance in the night people approaching in weird ways stories about people going out and camping and then in the distance through night cameras seeing humans or human-like things acting weird in the distance and then suddenly turning to the camera and then walking towards them. They would then send warning shouts, the humans would shout at them and they would then go away. But these kind of weird happenings are a recurring thing. Parasocial doggo. Why parasocial raid? No cat raid. Parasocial catto. Hello Uni the dog. Uni has raided us. Hello everybody. Oh, Uni raided us. I was yeah. like, you're social. What? Uh, what? I'm not what? parasocial, she says. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Uni. We're talking about Spooky. Oh, he's gone. Ah. Oh. Woof. Woof. I've turned back into a human temporarily. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Today we have Cuckoo 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 -coo -coo Crazy Ollieters with us um, from Hololive ID. You want to introduce yourself, <laughs> Ollie? Yes. Right. Zomoma, Sibakali, Zombie, I did it! Cuckoo 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 Crazy! Ollie, this Hi, guys. It's yes. me. 
We're talking about scary things. We're talking about skinwalkers. I can't believe you've never heard of skinwalkers before, Ollie. No, because uh, I have heard, but it's just that I didn't want to get too much into it because I would always be too scared of going to sleep. Mm. Oh, we don't need to talk about skinwalkers. Yeah, because no. like, I actually really like all of these creepy horror stuffs, but I knew that I'd be so scared. For yeah. example, um, that's for sleep you know overnights, not not when you're alone, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know um cartoon cat? Hmm. The creepy pasta. Oh no, I have not. I don't know about that one. Cartoon oh, cat. Let me see. Cartoon cat. Cartoon cat. Creepy pasta. Ooh, oh, that's scary. Yeah. To that's be honest, spooky. it's not. Well, I guess if people just read it out, I guess it wouldn't be too scary because it's, there's no jump scares. It doesn't haunt you. But it's not the oh, shot sorry. on screen! <laughs> I'm sorry. Get rid of it! I'm closing it, Mary! Motherfucker! Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, Diali, no. No, I'm super skilled. I'm sorry, dear friend. <laughs> You skill with me! No! Oh, yeah, so that thing, that thing creeps the heck out of me. Oh, it does look quite terrifying. Yeah, and the thing is, unlike, you know how other horrors, they're basically like, if you make eye contact, it would run to you and snap your neck and eat you up, right? Mm, yes. But Cartoon cat, a cat is the type that would slither and creep. And, mm. Slowly so approach. Scary. It slowly approaches, like it knows that it's stronger than you. Uh -uh. So it's taking its sweet time, you know? That's what scares me so much about it. That is terrifying. Yeah. Well. Woof. I will refrain from the scarier topics then. I'm sorry for scaring you, dear Ollie. It, it, it's okay. You didn't know. <laughs> Earlier, people were calling me Big Anjing in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I like the term Anjing. Yeah, Anjing Lu. Anjing. Anjing. Aku Anjing. Benar, anda Anjing. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> You're a dog. I am a dog, yes. Yes. So, Ollie, oh. I actually have a bunch of other things we can talk about that aren't scary, if you like. Ooh. Hmm. So... You're a zombie. Do you like zombie movies? Mm, not really. Hmm. Do you? Kind of. It depends on the kind of zombie movie. So here's what I don't like. I don't mm. like the gory parts of the zombie movie. I don't uh. like when they're like alone and getting chased by the zombie. That's a mm. little boring and like I don't... You know, I mean it's adrenaline filled but like it, it's not why I watch zombie movies. I like stuff like World War Z, where it's like, how do how do um, societies deal with the apocalypse, and how do how do nations defend themselves? What kind of systems do they put in place to defend themselves? So yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose I like the start and ending. I like World War Z because they go to different countries and see the different ways they tackle it. Those are always fun for me. Yeah. I also like the new zombie anime, Zum 100. Have you seen it? Oh, I haven't. I've been following religiously. It's so fun! <laughs> it is very fun. I like the weeb girl. Yeah, that's me, 100%. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's very fun. She's such a mood. But, mm -hmm. you know, the thing that I hate the most about zombie movies is mm -hmm. how easily people betray each other. Like, people would just push one another or, like, oh, something yes. like... Yeah, I don't like that aspect of like zombie movies because I feel like even if it was real life or at least in Indonesia, mm -hmm. um, people in would Indonesia, help each other. Yeah, people wouldn't just, we're so nice to each other. There's no way that we'd suddenly throw someone off so that they stop the zombies or the zombies stop temporarily, yeah. you know? That happens a lot in High School of the Dead. Like there's the, the, these cute schoolgirls that were running down a hall. I remember this exact thing. These cute mm. schoolgirls running down the hall holding each other's hand. They're best friends. They're going to escape together. 
immediately when it becomes convenient, one of the girls just like pushes the other down the stairs to escape faster. It's like, that wouldn't happen. We're yeah. social animals. That wouldn't happen. We we literally evolved. Our whole intelligence comes from like being social. You wouldn't just push your friend down the stairs if you could avoid it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mhm. Mm silly. Very, very silly. And I suppose it's not. It's also not very nice to see zombies getting killed all the time in zombie movies, considering you are one. Yeah, of course. It, it, it sucks, you know, because. I feel like I'm not the only zombie VTuber in this platform, I believe. And seeing people go berserk with all of the other zombies sometimes, you know, <laughs> hurts my heart too. Like, I would see people playing Minecraft and they'd be like, DIE! 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 That's not very nice. <laughs> no, it's not. Not in the slightest. Mm. Mm. What kind of horror movies do you like? Do you like horror movies at all? I... Not in particular, because horror movies have the same plot. Mm -hmm. I kind of talked about this in, in the membership ones. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only horror movie that's actually scary to me is like Southeast Asian horror movies. Oh, Asian horror movies in general are terrifying. Oh no, not Asians. Southeast Asians. I'm cutting Very off the other Asians. Oh, I see. Very specifically Southeast Asians. I've never seen one of those. Should I? Yeah, especially Thai. Thai, uh, Thai horror movies, they go insane. Thai people do go extra with their media, I've found. Mm. There's some amazing VTubers from Thailand. You, you seen them? Yeah, like Hoku. Hoku? Yeah. Who's that? I don't know that one. Oh, she's an owl, VTuber. Ah, I know Da Capo and Schneider. Do you know them? I do know. I, lo I, I love them. Yes, they're mm. lovely. I had Schneider on. He's a very lovely gentleman. Very big tentacles. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> very big tentacles. I, I like how CEO looking he was. Indeed. He's very nice. <laughs> and Da Capo is lovely as well. They're very nice. So, Ollie, you have, um, you're very popular on YouTube. You've got many videos with millions of views. Do I? You do, actually. Do you know what your, can you remember off the top of your head, what's your most popular video? Would you hit Ollie for a million dollars? No. No? It is your cover song of, uh, oh, stop! Joran, hey, That's kids. so scary! Mary! It's scarier than Cartoon Cat! Get oh, it no. Away oh no! Oh <laughs> <laughs> no! Do you, but do you remember what your second most viewed video is, Ali? Would you hit Ali for a million dollars? No. It's not that. Oh, maybe I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm not counting live streams. That might be it. Hold on, let me check. Oh. Uh, no, no, actually, no. It's not even that. Your oh. most, your second most popular popular video other than your debut of all time you really don't know no <clears throat> it is a six second clip called speed no get it away from me get that thing away from me before putting it away i do have one thing i need to say so i asked my manager <clears throat> i asked my manager can we calculate how fast ollie is going in this video did you guys actually? Yes, yeah, so Ollie is 162 <laughs> centimeters tall. Her design yeah. is about six head high, so her head is 27 centimeters long. The screen moving is, uh, the screen moves about five of her head long, so let's say 135 centimeters. She moved across the screen in one second. That is actually only 1.35 uh, meters per second, which isn't impressive at all. So it's not quite speed, actually. I think you should make another one that is true speed, Ollie. <laughs> right. I, I guess I was just going through normal speed. You were going normal speed in this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were, I mean, regular speed, you know, like regular running speed. <laughs> it's very regular. <laughs> Give me 
a break. I'm a high schooler. I understand. Yeah, speaking of that, you are mm. uh, 17, but you've been 17 for many years now. You debuted in 2020, <laughs> but mm. you're, a, you're a zombie, so you're just stuck in this. Yeah. Yes. What's it like being 17 forever? You're never an adult. You'll never be an adult, Holly. How does that feel? Well, you know, because people don't see me as an adult, that just means that I get to fuck around and we'll see what happens next, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I can I can just play all day and people wouldn't be mad because my age is not even the responsible age yet. I don't have to do taxes. Goodness I mean, like, me. you know, because I'm young. I'm not evading taxes, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, that would be hilarious. I'm a zombie. Technically, I'm 17 still. I don't need to pay taxes. I wonder if the government would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if the government's. Ayo! What? <laughs> would you like to know what my most popular video is? <gasps> I would like to know what is it? It's a little annoying, actually. It's me with your brother, Vox. Oh, come on! <laughs> It's not I even me in the thumbnail. Everywhere. <laughs> yes, it was, it's like, me with Vox, and him asking me if I know what docking means. Wait, what does docking mean? It means being a dog, Ollie. Oh. Would you like to go docking sometime? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> God fucking dang it, Vox. Mm -hmm. like, and I thought I gave like enough contribution through the shorts with the oh, with the You are also one of my most popular shorts actually. Really? Yes, we've got the um <laughs> the one where I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one so much. Yes, it's uh, I'm colorblind featuring Kareji Ali. <laughs> That's also a favorite. Yeah, we've got two of them. There's a, there's the one where I can't read and there's the one where I can't see color. It's from our collab, um, our, uh, what is it? Uh, it, it what, what was it? Keep talking nobody explodes. Indeed. But see, the, the yeah. real frustrating thing about, um, about my YouTube channel, hold on. Mm. Uh, it's not just one video. It's not just my most popular video that is, mm. uh, Vox infested with Vox in the thumbnail. It's all three of them. All my three most popular videos all have Vox in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so jealous. It's so frustrating. We were born from the same mother. Mm hmm. Yet. Yet, oh. Vox! Speaking of your mother, I met him, you know. Lam. Yeah. I met him I... in Singapore. Mm. We were both invited as guests for uh, Animal Fest. A a Animal Festival, no, Anima Festival Asia, not Animal. Anime Festival. Anima Festival Asia, AFA, yes. we were both invited and Lam had this big and beautiful um, gallery there. And I had, we had mm. our Meriwether Media booth and uh, Kaz had to take, I wanted to go meet, um, I wanted to go meet Lam, but I was wearing my big dog head. Have you seen my dog head? Yes. You have Very seen my dog head. Let me find mm. it. Hold on. Kaz, Cassandra, where's my dog head picture? Uh, hold on. Where is it? I, I have it somewhere. Oh, here it is. There's a picture of it here. Uh huh. So I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll share it up here. There we go. Waka, waka. Oh, I got it. I got it. Here's my dog head. Here's me with my dog head <laughs> holding. Holding uh, a gun blade from Final Fantasy. <laughs> and there's Kaz's uh, concerned look in the corner because I was being a menace in the convention. I was I was running around <laughs> trying to fight people. I was completely dehydrated and I was lacking oxygen within it. And I couldn't see anything at all. I was completely blind and I was just running around. So I wanted to go see Lam wearing my dark hair. So I was like touching his shoulders and stuff, trying to feel where he is. And... Uh, <laughs> I gave him, I told him, I walked up to Lam, and this is what I said. Lam, I brought you a gift. And then I gave him a whole pack, a massive pack of Pocky. And I was like, mm. it's from Japan. And then he looked at me and he said, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yes. <laughs> and we, we got to hang out a little bit. And... <laughs> 
we're gonna go have dinner in uh, in December in in January. We finally found a schedule that works for us both. We're gonna have a nice dinner in January and hang out together. Oh, fair! I want to join in. You should join us. You should join us, Ali. That would be lovely. You I never met Lam, have you? No, no, no. I have. I have. Oh, you have. Oh, lovely. He's such yeah. a lovely gentleman. I like him a, a lot. Lovely gentleman and very fashionable too. He is very fashionable. He is. Uh, we were going to a meeting in this like little bar right next to the place and um, we were going to a meeting with a game company, me and my employees. And then uh, we saw Lam walk in as well and uh, he was wearing this lovely, I would describe it as kind of a Hawaii shirt almost. He was definitely yeah! in the vibe of the tropical nature of Singapore. You ever been to Singapore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. Oh, it's lovely there. I love Singapore so much. I would Very love hot. to go to uh, Jakarta as well. Uh, I don't think... Like, you know, people would often say, I would love to go to Jakarta. There's nothing in Jakarta. It's just malls. I like malls. that, though. I'm a capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I love malls. I, that's what Singapore is. It's just malls and shopping I mean, places. I, I didn't say it. He did. He did. He said it. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. I like it. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. So, I have something I want to show you, Ollie. Yes. Okay. So, let's go here. Hold on. I'm going to window share. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's Twitter. Oh, there we go. That's Twitter. Mm. And we're going to move over here. <laughs> ah! Finally. The boat stopped. This is such a nice boat, by the way. Hmm. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. To capture here. There we go, mm -hmm. everyone. Don't worry about it. I accidentally muted myself. I'm going to screen share uh, this window for you, Ollie, okay? Mm hmm. All right. Give me just a second. Yes, uh, sir. Hold on, everybody. Oh, oh whoops. Uh, what is it? What is it? What have you moment. prepared, Thigh Wolf? You dog. See. I'm sorry. In Hero. what a brief moment. I am not a wolf. I am, however, a dog indeed. Yes. Uh, okay. So. What breed are you, anyways? I am a Danish Spitz mixed with a Turkish Kangal. Cool. Yes. Wolf. Me, though. What kind of dog would you be, Ollie? A chihuahua. A chihuahua. That's Peace nice. Peace. Yes. Okay, chat. I'm going to move you guys over here <clears throat> for a little bit. And then we're going to move... Um, hold on. We're going to move the window capture a little bit over here. There's a lot of tabs, by the way. Yeah, I always have a million tabs. You haven't even seen... This isn't even my only browser window, Ollie. <laughs> what? Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. On the horizon of this forest path, you see a group no! of dark Wait, oak what? figures slowly trudging towards you. What do you do? My half orc You're barbarian kidding! embraces her great hammer, and that's a one critical fail. Ooh. Steve, what do you do? Well, I believe in anticipation, my rogue would try <laughs> oh and hide God, behind a tree. Okay, I rolled actually... one. Another critical fail. Tom, what does your human bard do? Active perception check. It's a natural 20. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in <gasps> Wait, my toes. Wait, who These motherfuckers you you things are bombers. Yeah. And they got to go, so come on, get them now. Get the wrong day. That was Fuck around with my ties. Crew up, up. So let's get that. That was a few minutes ago. Years, yeah. Do. I just posted it. Me and my boys <gasps> gonna mess you up. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Fuck. Fuck. My boys are <laughs> the one. You can't. So I'm gonna bring it no! on myself. Hey, I 
forgot, you're supposed to tell me what I see, right? Yes, thank you. Let's just slow it all down a bit. So you notice that one of the little figures is all short. I cast Fisher's Mockery. Nat 20, let's go. You're a short motherfucker and nobody likes you. Short! Fucking short that guy is. And that stops you from bombing, eating for relationships. When you were born, everybody thought that you were just a head. But then the doctor said, wait, this is a motherfucker trying to short us. Baby got a tiny little itty bitty body and I hate it. Your attack lands and absolutely shatters the mind of the cloaked figure. Perception check, please. Matt 20, let's go. You perceive the figure was so short because it was a child. Child! Kid. Specifically, the child you've been looking for for the last 15 days game time and five days of our actual lives. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know I'll be better. Fuck, his body's just lying there, right? Right? <laughs> yes. Don't. That's funny. Bitch. What? No. What? It's a gift for you, Ali. That's a win for me. Yeah. What? Why? I don't. It doesn't seem fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was also your birthday recently. I remember. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Amir, for the raid. Thank you. Yes, I, it is. Um, it, the, so our production manager, Rainer, aka Kaz, uh, who is in chat, one of our uh, project, our, our lead project manager, uh, she decided this was a fun idea because she also loves um, Baldur's Gate and D&D &D and stuff. And she saw yeah. your tweet that you liked this video. And so Das Doctor, who is the same artist as um, Reni and uh, Ollie's uh, law videos, uh, he loves Hollow Life. He loves you too, Oli. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so he 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 said very much yes. Uh, Einhander, thank you for the five two on subs. Ame, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Everyone, go check out Ame doll. Excellent Australian cat lady. Excellent lady. Thank you Ame so dog, much. Ame dog. Ame dog. So. <laughs> Uh, motion design and animation by Ben, and uh, this is all the appearances, um, which is Kuregioli, uh, Anya Melfisa, Vestia Zeta, Murika Laivi, Takanashi Chiara, Axel Zirias, Yuzuki Choko, Re Regis Altair, and um, Kobo Kanairu. I don't know if you noticed, but the child you killed was Kobo. Yeah! <laughs> Let me see if I can find... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oi. It's a very quick frame. It's easy to miss, but it was Kobo. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but one frame that stuck to me was that I saw Axel, he was a dog. Yeah, yeah, Axel's a dog, of course. This is right here. <laughs> <laughs> and Kiara is in there as well. Oh, it, it makes sense because Kiara is like Kobo's mom. Oh. Yes. So we can we, we, we can actually um we can actually make it if you wanna sing the song, Oli, uh we can actually make it for you if you want, and you can upload it on your channel. Feel free to let me know if that's something you want to do. I don't know about permissions and stuff, but if that's something you want to do, let me know. <laughs> you know, after this, we got to talk behind the screen because this is amazing. <laughs> and you know what's like even it. more cooler? Mm -hmm. well, like, throughout this whole stream, even like before the stream, I just got my D&D &D dices. Can you hear it? Oh, really? Congratulations! Right. What a coincidence. This is such... Yeah, what a pleasant coincidence. <laughs> what? That's so... Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm so happy you like it, Ollie. I'm sure the whole team is really happy that you like it. We've been working I at it for, it. for I, a I, while. I love it! I need the HD version of this so I can loop it religiously every single day. Of course. I'll send you the file. You can use it if you like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you, you, you like it. I like this, um, so my favorite yeah. part is this animation. It's so cute! <laughs> like how I just keep sure. going, like... <laughs> I'm so happy you like it, Ollie. I love it so <laughs> <laughs> you, you have no idea how, how freaked I am right now! It's oh. so Thank you, friend. You're... Of course. Anytime, Ollie. Oh. I, hope, oh. I, I, I still hope someday we'll get to make a law video for you. Some glorious day. <laughs> One day. One Don't worry. Day. Yes. It, 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 it's in the, it's in the to-do list. I just uh, gotta... Okay, I'll say it through. Uh, I just need the money because... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I need to pay you guys for the 
a lore video. I don't oh, want you guys to just, yeah. We'll figure it out someday. Maybe you could do mm. like a, a fundraising stream or something. We can both do one. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Nine Cats, for the uh, green super chat. Uh, we just had, we just got super chats on Twitch, Charlie. Twitch has a super chat. Yeah, we just got them. <laughs> it's not subs. It's actual super chats. Actual super chats on Twitch. Yes. Oh my god! Indeed, it's odd. <laughs> it feels weird every time I see one. Nine cats. Thank you very much for the seven point fifty uh, Singaporean dollarinos. Was happy to show you Ollie and Lam Sensei the physical Aka Super at AFA CSF. Oh yeah, you were there too. I remember. I heard it. You were there. Yeah. yeah, I heard you singing in the distance <laughs> from our booth. I'm so sad <laughs> I couldn't make it. I, I had a I had an appointment at the time, but I I did hear you singing. I think it was at the same time as my meeting greet. Sadly, next time I'll I'll try to have time so I can come cheer you on with light sticks in the crowd. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> well, hopefully, I mean, we'll definitely meet again in Alpha. Oh, because of I I. I, uh, I am confident that Afa will continuously invite us both. Yes, I mean, I'm going to the next one next month. Oh! <laughs> I'll wear the dog head again and be completely and utterly lacking oxygen and running around killing people. It'll be great. Stop killing the poor Singaporeans. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, I had a fun game for yes. us. Yes! So Ooh. we're going to go over here to this screen right here. So I'm going to be showing you. Oh, thank you for the 100 bits. The Pillsbury Doughboy has three brothers in the music industry. They're known as the Yeasty Boys. I don't know how this is relevant, but thank you for the 100 bits. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much. And so, have you heard of a yeast infection? What? Onto the game. What did you have ready for us? Thank you very much, Windry Pendragon, for the 300 batteries. Thank you very much. Thank oh, oh, bits, sorry, ba not batteries. Hope the two of you are having a wonderful day. It seems like we are. Are you, Ollie? Yeah! <laughs> oh, and Windry got the 1k bit bats. Congratulations. Anyway, let's continue with the game. So, I have prepared a PNG of every single member in all of Hololive ID. So, I thought it would be fun if we could hmm. come up with Halloween ideas, Halloween outfit <gasps> ideas for them. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's go, let's so go. let's start with Kayla Kowalski. Oh, this is hard already. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kokui. Kokui, Kokui, thank you for the raid. 1,249 <gasps> people. Thank you very much, Kokui. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, dear Kokui. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, go follow Kokui. She just started her new, what is it? A VTuber agency, a VTuber team, a team. <gasps> 3 a.m. Oh, everyone, go check out Kokui and 3 a.m. Everyone, they, they've got such lovely VTubers. Meat is also a, a Meat is a, a, a caveman VTuber, a, a cavewoman. A very, very excellent people over at 3 a.m. Go check them out, everyone. Thank you so much, Kokui. Thank you. I've I've seen people refer to Kokui in a very um, with, with a very sus nickname. Uh, <laughs> cock meat. <laughs> <laughs> And it, uh, it, it made me laugh. Uh, it was a cock me VR night. Yes, I see. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, um, Sorry. Well, well, uh, that's mine and meat's combined ship. I see. Oh, it's cock meat. Oh, I see. It's your ship. Oh, I, for oh. I see. I see. <laughs> cock meat. Interesting. Yes. It's, oh, there's a cock meter mode. Thank you for showing it to us. Thank you. How oh, beautiful. Oh, excellent. Thank you, Anhander, for the tunes up to Kokui. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kokui. I hope you have a lovely rest after your lovely evening. I'll definitely go check out the VOD. As should you all. Oh, Kokui says, Ollie, a lot of people think I moonlight as you uh, because our voices are similar. Oh, really? Have you ever heard of Kokui, Ollie? Uh, I never really visited Kokui's stream before. Oh, because, you should. Kokui is no hilarious. <laughs> you oh. should check her out. I'll what? do that after our collab. Indeed. Or should I do it now? Oh no, you can do it after. <laughs> Let's, okay. We need to pick a. We need to pick a Halloween cosplay for Kyla Kowalski. Mm -hmm. What would Kyla? I I don't know her much actually. I haven't seen Kyla much. 
what 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 kind of person is she? Uh, she's definitely someone who's chill. I've never seen her angry my whole entire life. Like I've seen her uh rant sometimes, but it's not like angry rant. She's just ranting, you know. Mm -hmm. And she's a very good gamer. She uh, what's it? What's it called? She's a grinder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She does not sleep and she's always chill but and having fun with her streams. Mm -hmm. That's how I would describe her anyways. Interesting. So something that would definitely be awake 24-7 suits mm -hmm. her, I feel. Something that would be awake 24-7. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Something that would never sleep. Maybe a vampire. But they don't, they sleep during the day though. A ghoul? Yeah. Maybe a ghoul? A ghoul! A gamer? <laughs> oh! And, uh, throughout Hololive Japan and every single other Hololive members, apparently she's God. Oh, really? Yeah, but I don't see her that way. <laughs> God? Yeah, but... Hmm, kind of weird if she's... Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. A MED STUDENT! <laughs> A med student, that's a, that's actually a good idea. Okay, Kyla Kowalski, med student. <laughs> Excellent. All right, next is Vestia Zeta. Which kind of person mm. is Vestia? She's, um... How do I say this without disrespecting her? Hmm. She's I wonder. like a Twitch streamer. <laughs> She's a Twitch streamer, Excellent. No, 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 like, like, I'm not saying, like, Twitch streamer in a bad way, but let's say that you think of, like, a <laughs> no, VTuber. I, I get what you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she's a VTuber in Twitch, and the way she makes her jokes is very similar to the, the ones in Twitch. At least that's what I think. Mm. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Maybe a uh, cat gamer girl. Cat gamer girl? Yes, if she's Twitch, right? <laughs> I mean, she is known for denying the fact that she looks like a cat. Hmm. Aren't those oh. cat ears? Oh, those are actually her hair. Oh, I see. Yeah, she put Interesting. cat ears, but she's not a cat. Cat Gamer Girl Vestia Zeta, let's go! Let's go! Next one, Pavolio <laughs> Rainy. Ooh. So, the best way to describe Rainy is that uh, she is an adult baby. She's an adult baby. <laughs> yes, she uh, she's actually, I would say, as playful as a kid, but because of her physique, people would think otherwise. Hmm. I see. So she would cosplay as a baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't <it> that easy? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe like, maybe a fairy tale princess. She would yeah. take the opportunity to be like Cinderella or something. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you imagine? I feel, mm, I feel like she would be... Mm, wait, I wonder what she would actually be. Fairytale Princess fits because she's also a P-Fowl Princess, right? Yes. Yeah. A what? What? Didn't you write her lore video? A peacock, you mean, right? Yeah, uh... Well, not not really because a peacock is for like the males. She's a <laughs> peafowl because she's a bird. I see. Oh, oh wait, yes, peafowl. Ah, oh, yeah. no, not she's not a peacock. I'm sorry, I'm mixing things up. I did write her law. I'm sorry. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if she was the a peacock. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god, sorry, it's okay. <laughs> I like it. It's funny. All right, Kobo Kanaru, rain shaman. She's crazy, you know. You know those like jackets <clears throat> that you would usually see in a typical Hollywood asylum where they put you in this like soft room <laughs> and they The mental patient. Yeah, the mental patient. That's what I see her as anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, she's crazy. She sends me the weirdest stuff. She I she can't. gets randomly mad at me in DMs and I never know why. <laughs> <laughs> she like she she she's very demanding. Like she she's very bratty. Gremlin mm. goblin. Yes, she would be a goblin. A goblin. Yeah, yeah, that works well also. A goblin. Oh, she does have that goblin energy, indeed. Yeah. Kusogaki. Well, you know. 
Yes. Put her in like a, a prisoner suit. That also oh, fits. That does fit, yes. Prisoner suit. That's a good idea, actually. Prisoner, prisoner couple. Prisoner couple. Mm. Yeah. Anya Milfisa. Ooh. Ooh. What kind of person is she? I've never had the pleasure. She is, um... Mm, what's the best way to describe Anya? She... No, 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 no. She's not sharp. I mean, she is she's not sharp, sharp, but she's not... <laughs> It's very difficult to uh, describe my <clears throat> teammate here because she is one complicated, uh, like complicated in a good way, by mind you. Please don't cancel me, please. I love my teammate. <laughs> She's Japanese, yeah. That's it. Oh, Japanese in Hollow Live ID. <laughs> that's interesting. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, and um, she gets wild sometimes, and. Um, she also grinds. Like, she would have like six hours or seven hour streams or four hour streams. Mm. But she would do it in the most odd hours. Like, she would do it like in the middle of the night and it's a six hour stream. So she's like a witch. <gasps> oh my god. I think that fits. Hmm. A witch. Excellent. A witch. Anya Melfi says a witch. I also checked her Hololive profile. It says her age is confidential. <laughs> Yes, we, we, we don't know how old she is. That's also she very witch-like. Yeah! Yeah. What do you think of it? That's a good idea. Alright, next one is Irani Iwi15. She is the lewdest being that you will ever come across and has the greatest dumpy ever. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what would she cosplay then? <laughs> um, a stripper? A stripper? She would wear <laughs> an uncharacteristically lewd Erofi, I see. <laughs> succubus, yes. something like that, I see. Yeah, succubus fits. That's crazy. I wouldn't imagine she would be the lewd one from her outfit. From her oh, looks. Oh, you know, because you're only seeing, like, the second dimensional. If you see her third dimensional, <laughs> she has a dumb truck. See. Interesting. Well, thank you for your expertise opinion, Ollie. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Excellent. All right. Muna Hoshinova. Mm. I wonder what she'd be. A mermaid? A siren, maybe? A siren? A mermaid? She's good at singing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, oh, a mermaid would be lovely because a mermaid is kind of a siren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That does fit. Or maybe a harpy. Nah, a mermaid. A, mermaid. a harpy. A harpy oh, is really? cool too. Mm. Yeah. It's what just do you that think, harpy Chad? have chicken legs. That is true. Mermaid or harpy? A gorgon. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Siren fits her because of the sing. Mm -hmm. Mermaid for sure. Mermaid. Well, mermaids are kind of sirens, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Ooh. I think everyone wants mermaid, it seems. Excellent. Mm -hmm. In that case, mermaid. Mermaid! Then, do you know who's next? Oh, of course. It's Lisa Senpai. The nut lady. <laughs> the nut lady! <laughs> the nut lady, indeed. Okay, um, you know, you've talked to her before. What do you think? Oh, she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as crazy as Kobo, but she's crazy in a more, in a different way. I remember when I was, uh, <laughs> it was a very famous moment of hers, is uh, during her 3D debut, she crossed mm -hmm. her hands and then she said, welcome to the cum zone. <laughs> so she's quite crazy as well. Pretty unhinged, yeah. She is very unhinged. What, what do you think Risu would be? A massive knot outfit. Just, just her in a massive knot with a hole for her head. <laughs> That'd be cute, but I was thinking an arsonist. An arsonist? Someone who commits arson? Oh my god, what, why? Why is that? 
I don't know. I feel like she'd be the type that would, <clears throat> you know, set things on fire with her lovely smile. She'd be like, ha -ha, fire! It's <laughs> like Disaster Girl. Have you ever seen those memes? Disaster Girl? What's the... Yeah, Disaster Girl! Yes. That does fit. Mm. <laughs> Alright, we have one more. Kurei Oli. Oh! What would Ollie like, wait, what? cosplay for Halloween? Hmm. What do you think I would cosplay as? Because I do not know. Well, you're already very Halloween. That's the thing. Yeah. So I'm... I think it would be hilarious if your cosplay is not Halloween-like at all. Ooh. I think if I was oh. writing a story and you were in it, that's what would happen. Is the, the zombie girl who is already Halloween would just be, yeah, like a ballerina or something like that. <laughs> She shows up as Santa Claus. That's a good one. That's a good <gasps> one. Santa Claus! I would love to be Santa Claus. My hair fits. Yes, indeed. A Victorian princess. A lecherous salaryman. Oh my goodness. A normal lady. Oh, it's a, a lawyer. The, 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 the possibilities are endless. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd be cool. Like, oh, what are you cosplaying as? A, a lawyer. Nun. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Praise oh, God. You've got a lot of different outfits, right? You've got this one, which is a beautiful outfit, by the way. It's exquisite. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's my favorite of yours. That isn't your, your main outfit. What other mm -hmm. outfits do you have again? You also have the kind of a traditional Indonesian one, I believe. Yes, yes. The one with the mask, right? Mm-hmm. And you've got a ninja one. I have a ninja one. What is an outfit that you want, but you don't want to use a slot for it? Mm, mecha. Mecha. Like a full mecha? Or a mecha yeah, pilot? Yeah, full mecha. Like Fleon? No, no. Fleon's, Fleon has, like, uh, the mecha stuff's coming to him, right? He He's basically just dressed as a mecha pilot. Yes. I want to be mecha. I want to be the robot. Ah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, you think you could get that? that? I mean, I could I could ask for it. It's just that again, I don't I don't want to use the slot for it. Yes, and I, I imagine it, it probably wouldn't come out that often either. Yeah. That would be funny though, can you imagine? Lam Sensei, please draw Oli as a mecha. A full mecha. Lam Sensei would cry. <laughs> That's not, he would be like, that's not an outfit, that's an extra model. <laughs> Child, why do you do this to me? <laughs> oh my goodness. I love you, but not like this child, he'd be like. Oh. I, I always ask Lam, Lam, can I have one by you too? Can I also have you as mama? And he's like, <gasps> uh, busy. Because uh. <laughs> he's yeah, got so many children. That sounds very much like him. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he did draw a little gift for me. I'm never going to share what it is. But he did draw a little gift for me. It's just mine. It's mine alone. Aww, <laughs> that's so sweet. I love the uh, friendship that you have with my mother. <laughs> that sounds so weird in so many levels. Well, we're, we're, we're very friendly acquaintances. We're not quite Like, he doesn't come over to watch anime yet. But... Mm. Lam Sensei, if you're watching, you may feel free to come crash on my couch anytime. We do live in the same city after all. You do? Yeah, in Tokyo. If he doesn't, maybe he doesn't live in Tokyo, actually. He lives in Tokyo. He said yes to dinner in Tokyo. He must live in Tokyo. Yes. Oh. I had, um, I was at a, at a, at a meet and greet yesterday. I met uh, Kufshin of Ilya as well. You did? Yeah, he's very nice. We went to a very expensive place. It was yeah, really fun. So many cool people. Yeah, I, I, it's actually, I'm making an effort too, because I've got all these cool Twitter mutuals and I never get to meet them. So I'm making an effort. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make an effort. We also had a hot pot together. That was very nice. Um, oh my God, Mary, you're going places. What? You're going places! You're meeting up with so many cool people! Yeah, I got to meet Kareji Oli. That was crazy. <laughs> Stop! I will throw you with my D&D &D dices! 
<laughs> oh, you met some some impressive people yourself. Who, who have you met in Hollow Life, by the way? I've met the great Mary Wither. He's like. A I'm not in Hollow Life. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, you mean in all? Okay, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I've met the, I've met Marine Senpai. Oh, you have? She is short stacked. Ooh. <laughs> sorry. I'm always I, I probably... so curious about Marina. She is, um, she's very amazing. Mm -hmm. She's one of my favorites, actually. Right, because she's so so sweet. I like her and... very much, and she's got my favorite color palette. Right, like the the gold and the reds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our color and... palette, Ollie. We've oh, got right. that all up. We've got that color palette too. Right. You Whoa. you have a crown. I have a, like a golden eye. Well, I You're I right. I do have a new version of me. You want to see again? <gasps> yes, the the purple. Takes a while to load. Is it uh, I'm... It's complicated. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go! <laughs> so cool. What? Wait, what? You have... You have a spinning wheel too? Yeah. We both have a spinning wheel. How are we matches? <laughs> because you've got good taste, Ollie. You've got excellent taste. Well, the spinny wheel was Mama Yuni's idea. And she's, uh, so cool. she's the, quite the excellent designer. Oh, and I love how it just zooms out. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I'm going mental. Whoa, that's so <laughs> yes. Wow. I like, uh, I, 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 I've been referred to as, uh, this has mm. been referred to as Peacock Mary. <laughs> Peacock, Mary, because it gives peacock vibes, I guess. I was going more for JRPG villain, but I guess, okay. <laughs> it suits you, though. I like it. Thank you. Unfortunately, purple's already taken by my genmate, uh, Nick Nocturne. Ben Steele. Have you seen, have you seen my new agency, Astraline, Ollie? Yeah, I have. I follow. Oh, really? Do, 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 you, do you have a favorite in Astraline? Well, I like this guy. His name's Mary Weather. Oh, other than me? <laughs> he, he's, pre he's pretty cool, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. And also Lumi. Ah, Lumi's lovely. I hope someday you can meet her. I would love to meet up with Lumi. She's a bit withdrawn. <laughs> She's very Finnish. Finnish people are very withdrawn. So, what one has to make an effort to hang out with Lumi. <laughs> oh. Yes. Th 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 this scares me because I've, um, you know, I've heard of things that people say, like, I would ask, oh, ha how's Mary? How what is he like? And people would say, oh, he's Danish. And then I would hear stuff about, oh, how about Uni? Oh, she's, like, Italian, very Italian. And then I hear about <laughs> Lumi, and you're like, oh, she's Finnish. <laughs> Like those descriptions, man. How? What am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, in Scandinavia, there's many different nationalities. Of course, we have. Uh, mm -hmm. But Finland is technically not Scandinavia, but it's lumped in with them. So we'll say the Norse countries: uh, mm. Denmark, Sweden, uh, Norway, and Finland. And then way off to the side, we have the Faroe Isles and Iceland. But they don't. They don't fit in because they're islands way off the on the line, Greenland. Mm -hmm. But Danish people are the most southern. We're very, we're very warm and open compared to a lot of other of the Scandinavian countries. Mm -hmm. um, Swedish people are a little bit more cold. Basically, the more north you go, the more cold people get. Oh, Finland, like the weather. Yes, indeed. The more cold people get, the more withdrawn and indoor they get. And uh, Finnish people are the ultimate Norse. They're super cold ah. and they don't care for chit chat or small talk or anything. And you have to really make an effort to socialize with them. Eh. That's the thing. The more south you go, the more talkative and happy people get. Have you noticed? 
I have noticed. It's the vitamin C deficiencies. <laughs> Everyone in the north's got vitamin C deficiency. <laughs> it affects our personalities. <laughs> I see. Oh. Did you know that's why Nordic people have pale skin? It's so that they can absorb sunlight better. Is that why people are? Yeah, oh, because that's... of um, because we we all have. Oh, it's vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency. I'm sorry, I always mix them up. It's vitamin D deficiency. Woof. Mm -hmm. Woof. But there's a scary thing in the world. Did you know this, Ollie? Did you know to get the same amount of vitamin D from, or vitamin C, I think, I don't know, the same amount of something vitamin from eating an orange that our grandfather 70 years ago would have, you need to eat seven oranges. For like vitamin C, right? Yes. Yeah. If, if, if you, if you want to get uh, the amount of vitamin C that was in an orange 70 years mm -hmm. ago, you have to eat mm -hmm. seven oranges now. Damn, that's a lie. And it's decreasing. The vitamins in fruits are decreasing. The nutrition Wait, in... like, actually? Yeah, it's, it's dropping every year, Ali. You, that's, that's why you gotta eat supplements now. It's been dropping for like a hundred years. It's ever since we started like Mars agriculture projects. Uh, the the nutrition's been disappearing from food somehow. Yeah. It is scary, yeah. isn't it? That is scary. The end of the world is coming soon. Indeed. Oh, that's a lot more scary. No, we'll be fine. We've got supplements. We can we can create you know these vitamins. So we're gonna be fine. We're just gonna be eating a few more pills in the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Uh... What if we end up not eating food and we just. Just pills. pills. I mean, I think I think the direction it's going is that food is mostly going to be empty of nutrition, but we'll be getting the nutrition from pills. So we'll we'll still be eating meals for the experience and for like filling ourselves up and for calorie caloric reasons um, mm -hmm. to not lose weight. But we will probably be getting our nutrition from pills. It's fine, I guess. I mean, not a huge difference. Just swallow a few pills. A lot of people swallow pills anyway, you know. <sighs> it is a bit it's, scary. It is scary. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Ollie, tell us about you. Tell us what you got going on. What future projects does Cuckoo 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 -coo -coo Rage Ollie have going? I'm making a game. A game? A game! And you didn't invite me. <laughs> what kind of game? It's a, it's a, it's kind of like a love simulation game, but not really. Mmm. Yeah. Like a visual so, um, novel. Yeah, it's like a visual novel. And you get to date different versions of Ollie. No, y you try to get close to Ollie. You don't get to date her in the end. Spoilers, by the way. Oh. But getting close to Ollie is going to be ridiculously hard. <laughs> There's a reason to. It's gonna be so. You gotta go on several fetch quests. It, it turns into an RPG randomly. Then you gotta become a farmer to to make up. A <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Yeah, and um, there's a reason to why I didn't hire you. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, once the game is done, I'll give you like the first alpha so that you can experience it yourself. Oh, that's exciting! I look forward to it. And the reason to why I haven't been commissioning, even though I've been telling you that I want to make a lore video, is because I've been uh, putting too much on the game. Yeah, that's a lot of funds. I'd make a lore video for you for free, Ollie. You just shut have to the ask. fuck up. <laughs> no. It's fun for me, but if you ever need any scripting, I'm happy to do it for free. I like writing, and it doesn't cost me anything. So just let me know. I know. I mean, I know, but. Y you are the Mary Weather. You have the title. You are a very, very good writer, and you deserve every single penny for every single alphabet that you put into the writing, Mary Weather. Thank you, Ali. I appreciate that. I will choke you with my D and D dices. <laughs> oh my goodness. Teri makasi, Ali. Sama sama, you piece of anjing. <laughs> I love that. Gets me every time. 
<laughs> I use it sparingly these days, but I do love <laughs> Indonesian people's reaction to it. Aku anjing, gugu, gugu. Aku anjing, gugu, gugu, gugu. <laughs> I love, um, you know, the only one who didn't start laughing at me saying that is mm. Kobo. She just started calling me Anjing. And she still calls me Anjing now. <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty much like her. Uh, it is I would very like to apologize like her. in her stead. Oh no, I love her. She's fantastic. <laughs> She's like the annoying little sister I've never had. <laughs> Good job, she because she's. Because she's, me, she's very like... demanding. She messaged me like like yesterday, I think it was, and she mm -hmm. wanted to do something. And I was like, Kobo, I can't just do something on 24 hours notice. And then mm -hmm. she's like, I, I, I was going, I'm going to a company meeting today and I have a collab with Ollie. And then she's like, cancel the meeting. I can't just cancel <laughs> the meeting because you demand it. Kobo, come on. <laughs> yes. Um... Like you said, the description was on point because you said she's the little sister that you never had, right? Yes. Uh, to me, she's like the little sister I wish I never had. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Kobo. I love you. I You're remember, annoying, though. <laughs> I remember when she, the first time I met Kobo. Do you remember? Yeah. It was In the our collab Overwatch together. collab. Yeah. yeah. Impromptu Overwatch collab together with you. And then Kobo joins in and... She sounds like she's underwater for some reason. I don't understand why. <laughs> oh, like, God. It was hilarious. I like her. She is a lovely specimen that I would like to research. She's definitely a specimen. Yeah, she just sends uh, me unhinged massive DMs out of nowhere. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> but I, I, uh, it's an experience. She's like unfiltered, purely in character with everyone. It's crazy. Exactly. It, like, people would think that she's on character on script. No, that's just how she is. <laughs> people. Y you guys gotta understand what I'm dealing with. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Woof. Mm. That means she likes you. Yeah. Yes, I suppose it does. Oh, I, um... Mm. What, do, what, what do you think of Flayon? You know, me and Flayon are very good friends. Ooh, Flayon. Flayon is really nice. It's just that, um... I feel like there's... This little rivalry that me and Flayon have because we have the same Oshi. Oh really? Who's your Oshi? Uh, Hanasaki Miyabi from Hollow Stars. Han Hanasaki Miyabi. He's the redhead. <laughs> oh really? Look at him. Oh yeah. Oh my good. Oh, he's so very he sweet. He's, he looks very nice. Hold on, let me bring his image up on stream. Oh no, I'm going to blush you. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's <gasps> big. That's a jump scare. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Just ma massive Hanasaki Miyabi. He's so big! Why is he Yoshi? What does he do? I just, I, I like how soft spoken yet funny and unhinged he is sometimes. Let me listen. Hold on. Let me listen to a voice clip from him. I want to hear his voice now. Miyabi <laughs> Let's hear him. Let's hear Hanasaki Miyabi. Yes. Oh. That's not him. That's uh, that's another one. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Which Miyabi did you find? I, I, I'm, I'm looking. This is a song. I can't play a Hololive song on stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Oh, I like his voice. Yeah. He's holding a game show with all the other. Right? His voice just tickles your ears. Do you want to see my Oshi? I would love to see your Oshi. Hold on. He's not oh, needy no. though. Uh, no, he's not hollow though. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Hold on, let me find him. Everyone in oh. chat already knows. Here we go. Okay, so he's, uh, he is a very lovely gentleman. Here he is. It's... Oh! I know him. You know him? Virtual Real. Virtual Real. Aza. Wait, 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 wait. 
带我带一下脑子说话。He's very good at singing, right? He is excellent at singing. I love Azza. I've collabed with him a bit, uh, and uh, he he is、uh, he is very lovely. I like Azza, Azza Mama. <laughs> Azza. Azza. He's very nice. There's a、yeah. there's a few Chinese VTubers I really like. There is、um, there is also this gentleman called Taco, who is、uh, he is like Squidward. <laughs> If the name wasn't obvious enough. Taco. Yes, he's a he's a, he's a squid.、Um, He is, uh, why is it? Why is he a squid if his name's Taco? I think he's octopus, actually. Oh, okay. Octopus. I don't see the difference.、Uh, he he's very lovely. He's he sings like epic Disney songs. He's so good. But <gasps> really, with Japanese VTubers, I will have to say、uh, Marina is definitely someone I really love.、Uh, oh, for sure, Marina. I I really respect her. I think she's got.、Uh, She's so theatrical. She's theatrical, and she's amazing, and she's very entertaining, and she's collabing with Kobo right now. Yep. Kobo,、huh. you're pronouncing her name Marina. Marina. Is that is that not right? It's it's just Marin. Oh, Marin. Yeah.、Like、I thought、Marine. it was Marina. <laughs> Clearly, I haven't watched enough horror show Marin. <laughs> But you've listened to her songs, I bet. I have. I I love her songs. I I I love all of them. I I think they're excellent. Uh, uh, of of Hollow E N, I really love、uh, Kali Mori Kalai. She's excellent. I've had the the pleasure of working with her a few times.、Um, she's always so lovely. Who in Hollow E N do you really like? Ah,、uh, mm. Kali like, I too. Think... I bet. Well, I do like Kali, but. Uh, maybe it's I'm a little bit biased because I'm close to her. Out of all of the Ian, I like、ah. Bay. Bay. Hakos Bales. Hakos Bales. The rat. I always thought it was balls. <laughs> yes, the rat. I do like the, the rat. Now I like her. She's chaos, right? She's supposed to be chaos. Yeah. She is.、Um, I, I had the opportunity to say hi to her. She. She even. I. I went into a chat and she said hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> This is the thing. It is that、uh, I. I am not in any of the the big agencies, and I. But yet I am.、Um, I am verified on YouTube, so my name shows up in people's chats. So I have to、mm. watch out. I don't chat too much because. Their fans might find it a bit annoying, but I also want to say hi, and I want to have, you know,、mm. I, 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 I have a name. I, I have a verified channel by YouTube, and I, I, I want my,、uh, my favorite YouTubers,、uh, my favorite YouTubers to say hi to me, but I also can't <laughs> abuse it, you know. So it's a, it's a balancing act. Yes. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> and she's, oh gosh,、uh, I don't. You know what? Talking to you makes me realize that I think I may have an attraction for redheads. <laughs> oh my god! It's weird. I see. Well, redheads are quite. I mean, I'm not a redhead. I'm a. I'm a. I have a black head, but then I have a red stripe. The red stripe、yeah. is iconic. You know, the only thing I got sad over with my villain outfit, I loved it so much, is that I lost the red stripe. I was just like, instant regret, instant、uh. regret, because it's iconic. You know. Yeah, 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 like, but but you have a magenta、it. strip. I do, I do have a the the magenta strip, but、uh, but but I I didn't want to take the purple from my gen mate,、mm-hmm. Nick Nocturne.、Mm-hmm. Woof, 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 woof. Anyway,、mm-hmm. Ollie, I think、uh, I think we're running at、uh, one hour forty minutes, so I、oh. slowly run out of things to talk about. Do you want to talk about anything else before we end? Oh yeah, so、um, within one and a half hour、mm-hmm. from now, my、uh, lovely kohai that we've sh- we've shown on screen, Kyla Kovaske is having her TV showcase. Oh, really? I didn't know.、Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the chat, you should definitely go and support Kyla Kowalski. Is it Kowalski or Kowalskia? It's Kowalskia, not Kowalskia. Kowalskia. Koval, Ko- Koval, Kov- Kovalskia. Kovalskia. I see. Yes. Yes. Everyone, go support Ko- Kyla Kovalskia.、Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yes. Well, 
Thank you so much for coming on, Ollie. It was a pleasure and a privilege. I'm sorry for scaring you with my talk of skinwalkers and the scary cartoon cat. No, it's okay. <laughs> it I happens. hope you had fun. I had loads of fun. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. And uh, mm. thank you to all the Zomali for coming. Dog Army, please give them a big round of woofs. Ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Woof, woof. All right. Woof. Do, do, you, do you know anyone on Twitch that we could raid? Is there anyone you like on Twitch, Ollie? Ooh, let's see. Hum, let me, let me, let me. You can check talk. the VTuber tag. Do you want me to help you? Do you know how to do it? Oh, 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 you just click that thing that's like on your. Yeah, so you uh, click VTuber, then you can, you can check through the list. Can we, can we raid Alpha Beta? Alpha Beta? What's yeah, Alpha Beta VT. Alpha Beta VT, hold on. Alpha Beta VT. Yes, we can. They look <gasps> lovely. Is that a friend of yours? She's a lovely friend of mine. Oh, cute. All right, zombie dog raid. Zombie and dog raid, everyone. Let's get a zombie yes. dog raid in chat. Oh, uh, we encountered an unexpected error while creating the raid. Oh, hold on. Slash raid. Alpha. Better VT. Okay, there we go. All right, it works. I, I got nervous for a second. <laughs> Zombie dog raid, everybody. Zombie, Zombie dog, dog raid. raid. Yes. Thank you so much, Ali. I really appreciate you. I hope we can hang out again soon. And I hope you enjoy your little video that we made for you. I I will enjoy it to the utmost maximum. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, and, and the last fun fact, ladies and gentlemen, did you know that on the official Hololive website, if you check out Kureji Ali, there will actually be a warning for you. Ali frequently screams, so lower your volume when you're watching her. Really? Wait, yeah. I didn't know? You didn't know that. Ollie has a very <laughs> big tendency to scream. Always lower your volume during her streams. It says that on hololive.hololivepro.com. <laughs> I did not know that. Excuse me. Like, Thank you real? very much, everyone, for joining today. I really appreciate you all coming and watching. I will see you all tomorrow for our sponsored Final Fantasy XIV stream, sponsored by Square Enix. Thank you so much, everyone. See you tomorrow at... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to find the time. I need to find the time before before stream ends. I need to find the time. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? It is at 4 p.m. JST. I'll see you all there. Good night, Dog Army. Good night, Zomily. Good night. Good night. Good night, bye bye. Woof 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 woof. Go 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 go